All right, ladies and gentlemen, so our, what is this, our fourth topic, I believe, or no, fifth topic. I don't even know where we're at right now. Our next topic, <laughs> this is easier to say, our next topic brings us uh, into the world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, perhaps, or just in the Marvel Universe, perhaps. We don't really know yet for sure, but uh, we're done chilling out for DC and HBO, so ex we're expecting those checks to be in the mail <laughs> soon, so now we're switching courses to shill for Disney, and... Uh, uh, some 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 good news finally came out. Not, not, not that there's been a lot of bad news by any means, but some good news finally in regards to the topic of Deadpool has finally surfaced to where they are indeed moving forward with a Deadpool 3 because uh, it's kind of been up in the air and there hasn't been a lot of confirmation on it at all since uh, Marvel uh, or since Disney uh, had the Fox merger and bought Fox and then there was all these questions about, well, what's Deadpool going to do? Because it's realistically uh, it ended up becoming the most successful and in some ways, uh, Fox Marvel franchise, you know, kind of ever, um, and definitely the most uh, successful um, R-rated comic book uh, franchise, really, to this point. So it, I think uh, between Deadpool one, Deadpool two, it, <laughs> Deadpool two, <laughs> Deadpool two, uh, it, uh, they grossed about one point five billion dollars. So, so I mean, as far as financially speaking, and and, and well received, the Deadpool movies, uh, they, they're popping off. And uh, so there were a lot of questions about, okay, well now that Deadpool's with Disney. What does that mean? Are they going to do? Are they going to PG thirteen this dude up? Are they going to keep him more rated? Are they going to just you know forget about it overall? And we finally got some a little bit of information about that, and it, it kind of comes out that uh, or turns out rather that the Deadpool three film is in development, and the the screenwriters behind it, who supposedly Ryan Reynolds approved the pitch for the their, the script and everything himself, so that's always good because I I think uh, of all the people who I would want to you know, to get final say and approval on Deadpool would be Ryan Reynolds. So that's if because if Ryan Reynolds isn't on board in any capacity, the movie shouldn't be made. <laughs> it's all but, yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean he it's, quite literally is Deadpool. He right? is Deadpool. He is the reason behind Deadpool yeah. even being successful. Like the dude is the one who leaked that test footage. Like, <laughs> we all sure. know it, right? Like For he's sure. he, he, hey, he, hey, he hey, did hey. it. That's it's speculation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know for sure. <laughs> you know how but we kind of do. Like, yeah. Wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> so he should definitely 100% give final say in anything that happens with Deadpool. And I think everyone's on board with that. One of the few cases where the actor absolutely should have full control over something. Well, like, normally yeah. you don't want that. It's bad news. But not for this. This is uh, its own thing. So the writers are, uh, I think it was, the, yeah, the writers for Bob's Burgers, which isn't a show that, uh, I watch by any means, no. But I know it's it's really popular with a lot of people, and like, and a lot of times I I trust the masses' opinions sometimes, and like with something like this, I feel like their sensibilities would probably work for Deadpool in some way, so it makes sense. And uh, they did tweet out this little picture <laughs> with him with Deadpool's swords <laughs> on his back to kind of confirm, which I thought was kind of it was that's funny. funny, yeah. So. With that, too, um, we have another report here saying that it is still supposedly going to be R-rated. At least it's potentially being written as R-rated, whether or not... I mean, we'll just have to wait and see whether or not it, what Disney really intends on doing with it. Like, Because, I mean, they could release it under the 20th Century banner and not the MCU banner and the Disney banner. Um, which would be the best way to go, in my opinion, is keep Deadpool kind of out there on his own and let him do his thing. Much like he did at Fox, for the most part. I mean, every time he went to the X Manor, there was only like one or two X Men there, <laughs> except in that little scene. Yeah, that except was, that, that was like scene. the perfect little Easter egg. Yeah, and one little scene had the whole people, like all of them there, and even they shut the door. Yeah, they were just looked at like, oh, <laughs> right. not here. But, no. Yeah. yeah. So this is good news to me. I, I'm still in the end. I think the the million dollar question is: Is he going to be the MCU or not? That's the he biggest thing. Be. So. But what uh, what do you got? What is, what is your guys' take on this? But Rick, what do you think? I, for one, love Deadpool. Those are the movies like my, I guess, I don't know if you consider it a superhero movie, but kind of. I can watch it them is. over and over. Sure They're is. like my absolute favorite. Um, I love Deadpool as a character, Ryan Reynolds and all that. So hearing that Deadpool 3 is in development, especially in these uh, trying times. These how, unprecedented. Impress, I was going to say however you phrased it. Yeah. Um, that That's great. Great news, honestly. I can't wait to uh, see what comes out of it. So, yeah. John, what's your take? Obviously, I'm right there with you guys. I 
can't wait. I mean, I, I love Ryan Reynolds. I love Deadpool. I love the pairing of Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. So they can't go wrong with that. Um, I I'm glad to hear that they're they're that I think came straight from Bob Iger, the president of Disney. If I read the article right, the one that I read um, said that he was on board for having it be R rated. I think I think that they can do it. I think that they can have a rated R Deadpool movie and still have Deadpool in the MCU. I understand the 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 some the conflict that could arise like from having. Yeah, moral or just or just it's not moral, it's marketing. Po- it's, yeah, yeah, it's, and, it's and just and just the parental aspect of yeah, it because yeah. you're you, you know, you have you have these young, younger kids, you know, eight, nine, ten year olds that are going and seeing the new Avengers movie. And if you bring Ryan Reynolds, if you bring Deadpool into the MCU, then they see Deadpool and they go, Oh wow. I really like that guy. And he doesn't have to curse in those movies. He can still be funny and witty and obnoxious, but remove some of the cursing and remove some of the over, or, or he can fight like robots and cut the robots up so that you're not getting the blood and gore that you yeah. get with the R rated Deadpool, but you still get the essence of the character. But then the dilemma becomes, okay, so we're showing kids this cool character that they're going to like. Is it then do how, how do parents, how do we then put a movie out and not expect these kids to want to see it? And then are we going to have parents mad at us for, for, you know, not having a version of the character? And I understand the dilemma there. I still think it works. I still think parents just need to grow up and raise their kids because, you know, if it's rated R, it's rated R and the kids probably isn't, it probably isn't made for them and just tell them, this is the Deadpool you get to see. This is the one you don't get to see. But um, I do under- reason. I do understand the dilemma on Disney's part. And so if, if they end up keeping Deadpool his own thing in his own universe, that's I'm willing to accept that. I don't need him in the MCU. But I think I do need him um, just because of how good the previous two were. I do need him to be his own thing and be able to continue the movies the way they were because it's done so well. Oh, yeah. Right. And that's the, you hit the nail on the head there. The, 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 the dilemma lies with little Timmy seeing Deadpool in the Avengers movie and being like, oh, yeah, this is great. But then little Timmy sees the Deadpool movie, the poster for that, you know, when he turns on the Hulu subscription, you know, because that's where it would go. It would go. The R rated stuff goes on to Hulu while the PG yeah. and PG 13 stuff goes on Disney Plus. And that's when you have the backlash from the, 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 I don't know. I don't want to say like, bad parents but like i don't know just the not very like uh forward thinking i don't know what the what best way to describe progressive it, I mean, huh maybe like progressive not even progressive because it's like because obviously yeah you i don't think i would want my you know 12 year old watching the deadpool movies there's very suggestive sure. things in there like, <laughs> it's really care about the blood part they, they, sometimes like, it's not even it's not even suggestive. It's just blatantly yeah, out. exactly oh, like yeah. like getting pegged on National Women's Day and stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> it's stuff like that. That yeah, you maybe don't want your twelve year old watching it because it's because it's going to cause some questions, right? <laughs> but, like sure. the blood and gut stuff. I think realistically, it, in America, that stuff's normal and sex is taboo. So yeah. I mean, and that's kind of like kind of the the getting pegged on you know National Women's Day is far more a taboo in, in in the states than it is in a lot of places like honestly when it comes down to it but like that's the dilemma they run into is like little timmy wanting to watch it then the parents uproar because well he's in the avengers and like i didn't think there'd be any problems because they even had that with the deadpool movies they some parents took their kids to see them somehow not doing any sort of research bypassing the fact that it's an r-rated movie not it's paying any attention and just go in and go see it because oh it's a superhero thing like i can go you know yeah. and it's like yeah at some point because i totally agree with you john it can work and it's perfectly fine like i would like to like i want to have my cake and eat it too like i want deadpool to be himself and have our, his r-rated movies in his world and do his thing but like i also want him to come and talk to spider-man yeah like, that'd be cool I want like they have the banter, the banter between those two. Yeah, just, oh, like, yeah. they have yeah. great interactions, like in any material that like possible. They like they're it's gold, man. It's gold, and like the like losing out on that because there are some know. parents that don't know how to be parents. Yeah, yeah. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just want to be ignorant to things. Like, I guess yeah. is the best way is like, like, 
Or that's just want to cool. complain. I, yeah, I, just something. I think, I think some yeah. people just want to complain, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, I don't know. So I, that's kind of my problem with it. It's just like, it's yeah. easily avoidable. And just people got to suck it up and be, you know, be an adult. I think yeah. John hit the nail on the head there, too, where while saying, like, they can make it work. You know, whether he's fighting robots or whatever, they, just get creative with it. There are definitely ways to make him work in that universe and just still keeping it totally set. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so in a perfect world, I want to see him in the MCU and have his R rated movies. But I will take I don't want him to be neutered and only be PG thirteen. So if, yeah. if I have to take it one or the other, like keep him out of the MCU and give give me the R rated Deadpool movies in a little pocket universe, I'm fine with that. But obviously, if he can show up and have some discourse with Spider-Man, he could be your one every time. He could be the new Stan Lee, and in every Marvel movie, That's he's perfect. the one F-bomb every time. That becomes a new yeah. thing, because you get one F-bomb in PG-13. So yeah. he could be the guy every time there's a Deadpool cameo, perfect. and he just says, fuck. fuck. You think they give that to uh, Sam Jackson? Like, oh, you yeah. think True. they'd already be doing that? Just like oh, like, every time it's like oh the fuck, what? <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah. but I, I'd be good with it either way. So I'm um, I'm excited that they're working on it. I honestly, if anything, thought it was uh, more interesting that uh, what is it, Rhett Reese and Warnick, uh, Paul Warnick, I think those are the original two writers of uh, the Deadpool one and two. I was more surprised that they weren't returning to rewrite it than anything, like. So I know yeah. they, they have some other stuff in the works, but uh, that kind of caught me off guard more so than like, we, all, we always knew they were going to proceed with this in some way. There's just never been really any confirmation on like the who, what, when, where's and why's. And like, I don't know, it's nice to see that we have it. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what direction they go MCU wise. So you guys got anything else you want to add on the Deadpool stuff? Excited. Just ha <laughs> hap like you said, happy that we have some confirmation it's coming back. Yep, there we go. Well, there it is, guys. What the? What do you think? That's the question. What do you think? Do you think uh, in the end, do you think they're going to end up keeping, you know, Deadpool in the, his own R-rated pocket universe released under the 20th century banner, or do you think uh, maybe they'll keep him in the? Maybe they'll do the both thing. Like I said, have their cake and eat it too. Have him show up in the MCU and then go on about his merry way in the other one. Let us know what you think is going to happen, and let us know what you want to happen down in the comment section below.